Hello, it's Cockney Science here, but the science of cartography. In other words, we're now going to look at some maps. Basically, I come on starting doing videos because uh, the Tiger Dan situation of the flat earth tended to annoy me. Basically stating that we didn't have a map, well I don't know where he got that from, which started an epidemic of people agreeing with him. Now we've got here the United Nations logo. Now there's a little bit of a uh, argy bargy about the uh, United Nations logo, about it being the flat earth. Is it the flat earth? And do we have a type of Mandela, which people call the Mandela effect, on the logo? Now I've always said the Mandela effect, if there is any truth in any Mandela effect, we should be able to find residue evidence of it. Now this is basically the flat earth map, the Gleason's map. Now it's quite clear when we stick the United Nations logo on this map it's exactly the same layout so they have used the Gleason's map for the logo the Gleason's map is an original map of the flat earth this map was drawn drawn up by the Flat Earth Society British Flat Earth Society hundred years ago and it has been used by many organisations and not disregarded now there's going to be a little bit of religion for those that don't like religion put your earmuffs on or leave but what we need to look at is these sometimes called olive leaves of peace well that is total lie it's a crayon they're laurel leaves and not or not olive leaves they try to confuse you on that issue so we're basically looking at a crayon going round the real world or the flat earth which is the real world now the importance of this crayon when it comes to the religious point of view is that it's Satan's crayon Satan's kingdom of the earth and that's its basic meaning now you can see the importance of the crayon as the Roman emperors used to wear this as a crayon of authority it's the crown of the victor and as you see Claudius in this book the god has got his laurel leaf crown basically it signifies a kingdom or a king now when Christ was crucified they mocked him and basically we have in here as you can see the crown of thorns as the king is being mocked they put a crown of thorns on his head not the laurel leaf crown thorns that would bite into his skin and make him bleed as they was insulting him and mocking him that he claims the kingdom of the earth when basically the crown as you can see is quite clearly the Babylon crown of Rome Rome being the new Babylon and now on the United Nations logo now we talked about is there a Mandela effect with this logo well there appears to be some sort of Mandela effect and trace elements that there is a little bit of lying going on if you go to Wikipedia and you look when this logo was adopted it says it was the 20, uh, 7th of December 1946 
In the World Encyclopedia of Flags, it says it was adopted the 20th of October 1947. So basically, there is a bit of an enigma according to the official books that when this was adopted. Right, we have a, a map here. It's called the Atlantic Projection. A type of flat earth scenario of the map. Now it says up here 1957. Now this is a quite a modern atlas and this is classical prints in this atlas of past times. As you can see we have a South Pole. And as you can see, World Powers 1957. And it says United Nations Organization. Now, it's very strange that an old map claiming to be the United Nations Organization is different from their logo. and the Antarctic has been removed from their map but exists in this map and bearing in mind this one says 1957 as you can see United Nations Organization. Right, I've also been searching out for some old maps I can find and actually a Ford. And this is a Bartholomew original from the book. As you can see on the back, it's got printing still, it's it's not been copied. So we're looking at an Atlantic projection, once again, of the United Nations. And once again, as in that book, there's Antarctica on the map. Now this map comes from the Bartholomew Atlas, 1952. So there we got an array of different dates, a Mandela effect, if you like, with trace elements of things being out of kilter. But one of the strange things is, is the South Pole is quite clearly on these United Nations and Atlantis projection. But is removed from the United Nations logo as that it don't exist. So, if you like, Satan's kingdom, no uh, Antarctica, emulates the Gleason flat earth, and once again, where people will say, well why does Satan tell you the truth well basically is my old King James Bible it is God's command basically that nothing is hidden and Satan if you read the Bible talks to God recognizes God you don't recognize Christ but he will have to follow God's law and it's in the Bible nothing is hidden so as always truth in front of your face Satan is a deceiver a clever deceiver but always has to put the truth in front of your face if you look well 
I'm hoping this is new information for you. I haven't seen anyone else put this up. I'm not bothered if anyone wants to grab hold of any of this information and use it on their channel and pass in this information on. They're quite welcome to. Mr. Britain here, the Tiller Man.